I. Jesus here in those Christ. examinations. Blood test. Oh my God. That's you scary. Have to take Bro, it's like surgery. Test to give to non -grads. A psychological test if you didn't go to. My shit would have been all f up, bro. What's two plus two? I'm be like. Between one and a hundred, they're like good enough. This is the World War II introduction to the United States Army in 1944. So let's see how they used to do it back in the day. Introduction to the army. Oh my god, the like static is killing me. Oh, look, there's Billy Mo in the lawn. Thanks. My god, your pants, bro. Now, bro, you go to school like that? It's a wrap, bro. You're getting picked on. Harold Leonard Davis. Such like a 1944 name, dude. Oh, god, you know? <laughs> Harold Leonard Davis. Greetings. You are hereby directed to report to the prediction physical examination. Oh god. <laughs> Let me whistle. Oh, he's going to his house she lived next door let's go bro they depicted this shit so correctly good morning mrs jones where's johnny i've got to talk to oh, him. Goodness, johnny oh he gay bro they started like early i guess for anything else i wouldn't do it excuse me move is this is like his dad or a homie in the military johnny. hey johnny wake up what? okay sorry i wasn't asleep say what the? <laughs> it's happened johnny what's happened well look they put the finger on me Lick oh. the finger well, <laughs> what do they do to you does it hurt much? Does it hurt much? Oh, he said at ease, at ease. That's an annoying as shit. So he got this letter, whistled really loud, ran next door because magically his buddy lives there. Super lucky bitch. And he goes and wakes him up. And it is like, he wasn't sleeping, Sarge. Dick, dick, dick. Does it hurt much? Anybody who knows anyone in the military and you've like seriously asked them, I can almost confirm that they f with you half of the time. I'll always f my friends are like, I'm gonna join the military. Do, 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 do. Or anybody who's actually going in, I'll f them a little bit. I'm like, ah, I'm just kidding. Well, first you report down to that building on Main Street. You know, the one they used to rent off the lodge meetings and things. Basically, he's nervous. He's asking the dude who already went into the military for advice. This kid's getting drafted from what it looks like he's just explaining the process i actually really like this video so far because like obviously i wasn't drafted i volunteered i can only assume this is exactly 100 like what it's like let alone if you're going into the military you always reach out to people who were in the military to ask for advice so this is like a really cool calm video so far i like That's it a lot your... this is like That's in processing learning about one thing standing in line for your first weeks in the army most of your time is going to be spent standing in line 100%. Well, you might as well get used to it. Hurry up and wait. It's the Army's motto. Military's motto. Hurry up and wait. What's the bag for? To put your money and hang around your neck. Keep moving, fellas. Don't now they just go, me. shut the f up. Follow the guy in front of you, and you'll find out what's next. Why are we still not showing this f***ing video? I never saw this going in. 100% facts already. They're just letting you know you're going to be waiting in line forever. They're letting you know to shut the f*** up and not ask questions and just keep moving and they're already letting you know just follow the guy in front of you and you'll get to where you need to go because literally everything is just a line where you just centipede through it so wow this is really good somewhere along the line you're going to lose your clothes for the rest of the trip that's my favorite part this is where you'd better check any bashfulness you may still have because here is where all privacy ends booty hole you ever have right one of those? it's the urine test a very important one it's a little different from visiting your own doctor and being left alone for 10 minutes. But it's got to be done like this. So, like, I know when I did the piss test, and when you're in the active military, too, and you're doing all this shit, it's the same thing. Legit, there's just a dude. Like, I would do it when I became an E5 and, and shit, and you have to do, like, urine samples and stuff. They need sergeants or officers to make sure people aren't cheating the piss test. We just call them dick watchers. They'll be ready to pee in the urinal, and you're just watching the, the piss leave the pee-pee hole and then into the cup and then you just stand there like this you're like all right cool they didn't cheat i saw the piss come out of their dick i'm curious if they're going to talk about this the only thing to do from the beginning is to relax and take it easy yeah and if you don't have to pee you will literally wait there for hours until you pee they will put you in a room for like 10 hours i'm not even kidding until you pee you, you will not well get to make leave. up your mind that you're going to be here most of the day you'll be there all day get a thorough physical checkup i jesus those Christ. examinations Oh my god. That's you scary. Bro, it's like surgery. Test to give to non -grads. A psychological test if you didn't go to. My shit would have been all f***ed up, bro. What's 2 plus 2? I'll be like. Between 1 and 100, they're like good enough. Do you like uh, going around with girls? I didn't before kindergarten, but after that, I was crazy about it. Wait, what? Like... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you married, Jones? No, sir. Do you like uh, going around with girls? I didn't before kindergarten, but. After that, I was crazy about them. How do you think you'll take the army? 
Well, is anyone else, sir? He's like, well, son, I'm glad you're not gay. I'm glad you don't like penis. This is good to hear. Would have had you join the Navy. Welcome to the Army, kid. <laughs> like, this is pretty funny so far. And for those of you who don't know, you will have to do psyche valves all the time in the military for different schools and shit if you want to and go to, like, outside. specialty schools. They'll let you know whether you've been classified for general service or limited service. Or I don't know what the f*** that is. Do they give you time to straighten out your business, see all the fellas, and, and uh, kiss your dames goodbye? Mm -hmm. Dames? Whoa. Can't Yo, start calling your bitch your dames, dude. After that, you're interviewed by officers from the Army and Navy. They give you a chance to say whether you prefer Army the in? Army, Navy... Marines or Coast Guard. Oh, this doesn't whoa. guarantee that you'll get the branch you want because the quotas for all branches have to be filled. Whoa, that's kind of cool. If you get drafted, you kind of got to pick your branch. I mean, I know it's like, it's kind of either way because you have to go and you didn't want to go but I, I think that's kind of cool and then now the marines army navy are all like in like a draft and they're like uh, no we want him we'll give you three marines for that guy <laughs> nobody's going to the Jones, army signed. after we finish processing you you'll take the oath of allegiance and leave immediately for the reception center the oath of allegiance you will now take the solemn oath of allegiance to your flag and to your country raise your right hand Repeat Oof. the oath after me. You would be surprised how many people cannot word, do this, bro. I, I. They'll be like, I state your name. And then you'd be like, I state your name. And then they're like, no, no, no. Say your actual name. And then they'll be like, I, no, actually say your name. God damn it. No, you f What is your name? And then they'll be like, um, Timothy. It would be I, Timothy. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm stupid i definitely hesitated though you solemnly swear sorry huh? i will bear true faith and allegiance all branches seriously we need, need another one of these yo please put me in. oh god please put me in it i'll be serious too i won't around if i'm being super serious we need another one because so far i love this it like really settles the nerves it does give you kind of a step-by-step -step of how it is gonna go it's fairly simple and you can show your family this too and be like this is the process i'll be going through and they'll be like oh okay i'm not as freaked out anymore cover down cover the front right man step back in. I cover this man. Face his way and cover that. I feel like back in the day around this time frame, it was a little bit more chill like this. Y'all know me. Normally, I'd be like, why isn't this bitch yelling this old black and white all gray bitch right here? Back then, they're just like, listen, if you don't listen, boys, you're going to die. You will be shot probably in the first 15 seconds when you enter the battlefield. So if you want to listen to me, it would be in your favor. So cover down in front of the men in front of you. And everyone's like, oh, my God. God. <laughs> He's like, I ain't raising my voice. Move down to your left. Get in the ranks. He's like, you move left. Let's move your... Down. You? You'll be the first to die. You'll be formed into rosters. Why did they tuck the, the tie-in the like this? Men, you'll be at this reception center about five days. I was at reception for seven days, bro. This shit sucks. Pain. Keep your eyes and ears open. Learn to do things the army way and you'll get along swell. It is definitely not like this anymore. Come to me. That's what I'm here for. Do not wear any jackets or nice shit when you go to basic. I had some people being like, how many bags should I bring? I'm like, you get to only bring one bag. Bring shitty bag. Bring shitty clothes. Don't bring new shoes because they will get f***ed up. All your shit that you bring with, stay in that bag and get tossed like quite literally in a f***ing closet and get smashed and piled up on top of. People's phones and all this crazy shit were broken. Well, now I'm pretty sure you like get your phones and shit. But I don't know. I think it's kind of sad, but yeah. Why did they tuck the ties in like that though? Anybody know? Counts two and four, your right foot hits the ground. Hup, hoop, hup, hup, yup, yippity, dippity, dippity, whoppity, snappity, hup. This is another one of those yes, physical Yes, you've guessed it, my friends, once again. This time to get your physical profile. Which simply means to find out what kind of military service you're physically fit to handle. Oh my god! They don't even have their MOSs yet! Which stands for Military Occupational Specialty. Which means they don't know if they're infantry, if they're a cook. I'm just a cook. If they're like a technician, they don't know none of that shit. So you're there already and you find out. Wow. This is why I tell y'all, know what you want to do before you go. Right. Would you bend it, please? Everything else alright? Yes, sir. You will be special forces now. <laughs> like, what? You may start to worry about dependents, if you have any, but you soon find out uh, this is taken care of too. This is taken care of too? Be like, you know a lot of you are married. Don't worry. Someone else is f***ing your bitch. Don't need to call him. Don't need to write a letter. Just file the divorce papers now. AKA, I'll give y'all five seconds to name the bitch I'm talking about. Boss! <laughs> Bet. It's Jody. Yup. Jody f you bitch she gone goodbye don't think about it guess what i'm actually being serious okay moving on you can always tell when they're through making a speech in the army because they always say 
Any questions? If they ever say any questions, don't ask a question. Don't do it. If you ask a question, bro, be ready. That ass better be tight. Don't do it. Here's where you shed oh my God, it's so all the shit you kind of do at MEPS clothes. they're doing here again. I feel like it's really smelly and it's really hot in there. Oh my God, I bet you that shirt is so itchy, dude. What's your name? Uh, Johnny Jones. I'd be like, no, your name is Stupid Bitch. And from now on, you will answer when I ask for Stupid Bitch. I'd be like, yes, sir. Oh, that's a big bitch. What was that? Foreign language? What the f Or he got food in his mouth. I was about to throw it on a ha, Taco Bell. Bro, by the way, this shit is like not that loud, bro. This shit be so f quiet when you're going through this. Then again, I don't know if it's different because they volunteered. I'm curious if there's a basic for volunteers and then there's a basic for like people who like got drafted like these dudes. Because when you go through, it's just dead ass quiet. It's like literally all you hear is multiple people yelling, hurry the f up, shut the f up, hurry the f up. That's it. That's all you hear the entire time when you're getting your shit. Some people are like, oh, it's too tight. They'll be like, that sucks. Got to hear. Bro, getting fitted for your code is so cool. Here stand the best dressed soldiers in the world. Well, I'm here to f you, here bitch. I am. <laughs> a GI Joe, and it ain't bad. You ain't shit. You literally were just given that, and you're wearing it. Here you are, a basic bitch. Where you have four, two fingers above the right eye, cock to one side. Take your bag right over that bed. How's your shoes feel? That's still how they do it with PC checks. Like for the hats, for the you done in the military, it's normally two fingers above the eyebrow. Doing that in your dress uniform, that shit is so, it's so hot in your dress uniform. I'd be like, Jesus Christ. But you still feel cool. You're like, yeah, bro, let's get my dress uniform. I'll never get this. All right, soldier. Oh. The U of the US, open toward the top. This is how it goes with teaching you how to make your bed. The drill sergeants will teach you one time. They'll teach you how to make your bed in the army. That is it. They will literally be like, everyone listen, grab your pens, grab a piece of paper. I highly recommend you all get in a full circle around me and everybody take notes and compare notes after this. Cause if you fuck this up, it's on you. And guess what? Take the notes please i learned the hard way it took us two days to learn how to properly make your beds in the morning because you have to make them every single morning and if one person fucks up there's one sloppy corner one wrinkle one improper fold any of that bullshit you're, you're everyone's fucked. and if you're gonna ask do you still make your bed bro the second i was out of basic training bro never made my bed again i'd read some shit that actually making your bed is very bad for you like under the sheets and stuff like that and you want like natural sunlight on your bed if anything i'll toss my sheets over my bed and stuff but hell no i don't be making my bed no more Fuck all that bullshit waste of time oh it's discipline all corners folded in a 45 degree angle 45 all right so this is the fucked up part they're you showing two people make this bed right now it's gonna be you by yourself making your bed every morning easiest way to do that guys really quick if i can help anybody out going to basic when you go to do this shit yeah us is towards the top right so right here at the foot of the bed welcome to the basically team. this whole like side right here just start there push it all under the bed tuck it under because then by nature it will already be like it'll cause the flips on both the sides so at then the end then when you come over here to this side or that side just lift it up lay it back down and tuck it back under and then just start pulling and tugging to get your corners right why are you smiling bitch L oh my god christ save this man this dude just came to help him and he's just watching smiling laughing bro he's doing all the work bro oh hell no you better participate in some way shape or form bitch come on soldier get a hold of it Right, oh, say! Oh, shit! I called it! Bro, nah, see? He nice. He's like, come on, soldier. Get on over here and help me out. I'd be like, everyone get the f down. Start doing push-ups. You like that shit, bitch? You want to make me work? I'll make your whole f platoon work, bro. You better participate in everything you do. There you are. There you are. I am, Sarge. Thanks a lot. Now you do it. Yeah! Yeah! That is so true. This is true shit! What a good video. His mother loves yeah, no, there hasn't been any screaming in this video because I was like saying in the beginning, they're probably just like, hey, if you don't want to listen, you're going to get shot in the face probably. Because this. They got suitcases and shit? What am I going to do with all this stuff? Why are you complaining like a bitch? What'd you pack for? Two weeks in the country? Shove it back in the suitcase, shove it under the bunk, and shove it over the counter in the post office tomorrow morning.
That, I mean, honestly, you, you really learn how much of the shit you really do not need when you're there. Like, bro, I thought it was crazy to literally just, like, have, like, uh, my, my OCPs and stuff. You're out in the woods, right? They take you on a bush out in the woods. They'll be like, you will be living out here for the next seven days. Bro, no shower, no nothing. It was such a game changer. God damn. I'm going to have to bring my boy money out here. I remember one of our first field problems when we were in basic. Like, we stayed out in the field for three days. And that's how long it was the first time we ever stayed out there. And it rained. Bro, I remember staring up at the night sky the first night and all I, I just felt and I was like what the f and it was water and I was like no way I already am not liking the fact that I have no clothes and I'm stuck out in the field for three days like I've never done this it's like going camping without any gear but like you're in Georgia where there's literally a bunch of crazy ass wildlife like snakes everywhere fire ants everywhere bees and what everywhere dude so much not fun after that it was very like eye-opening and then you just die inside a little bit and then you learn you're like oh you know what i'll need these things to live it's just to be comfortable Not comfort is a thing. killer all you want to bring to the reception center is a toothbrush a pair of socks a couple of clean handkerchiefs and a sense of humor wow hey where the f is this video now bro we need one of these jesus it literally answers all your f questions like this is all the shit you f up when you go you mustn't bring is a load of stupid prejudices. Don't bring them into the army. Take people as they come. The Emotions, all that shit just. A man make. Shit. Nah, bro, f all that. They're not gonna be like lights out, dude. You have one person watching the clock all the time. They'll tell you when you come in, they'll be like, oh, you know, lights out is at 08. Whoever the platoon leader is, or one of the squad leaders, or whoever the f they'll be standing by the light switch, right? Because lights have to go out at 9. They can't go out before 9 or after 9. Gotta go out at 9. So, like, you'll have one squad leader, and they'll be like, 10 minutes. And they'll just be standing there for, like, 10 minutes. And they'll be like, 5 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds. Everyone's got to be in their bunk. And then sometimes, like, sometimes the drill sergeants will literally just be like this. They'll poke their head out the window just watching for you to turn out the light switch and make sure you don't f*** up. They'll be like, five, four, three, two. And then squad leader can turn off. Because you can have one person out of the bunk to turn off the lights. That's it. And then the drill sergeants will normally just like f*** off at that point. They'll just be like. <laughs> and then like close the door and like watch TV or some shit. But yeah. Oh. Um. The nightmares. I'm trying to think. I don't even remember right now off the top of my head having any like dreams in, in basic. I would just be so f gassed like and, and tired as f I would just k like knock out. Is there an ending where he talks to his dude and he's like, thanks, Timothy? He's like, well, thanks, brother. Now I'm not scared to enlist anymore. Well, I guess not. I definitely like that. I thought that was good. I think this is something we actually really need like now. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys don't like, go ahead and dislike the video. But let me know down below in the comments I can prove for your guys' entertainment. Also, let me know down below in the comments other things you guys want me to react to. And one thing I'll probably try to do in the future as well is VR uh, reactions, which I think will be pretty dope. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by.